Okay, so here we have a vector with three components. And now we can think of these as the x component and the y component, just like before. And now we're adding in the z component. And so we have three components. We need to graph this vector in three-dimensional space. So we have these three axes here, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. And to graph this, all we need to do is move over 1 in x, and 4 in y. So that takes us to about this point. And I'm going to draw a line from the origin to that point where we've moved to. So this is 1 in x, 4 in y. And then we just need to move up 3 in the z direction. And that will take us to our vector. So our vector moves 1 in x, 4 in y, and 3 in z. And there it is right there. Now to help with a, with a sense of depth, I find it helpful to dash these lines here. And now that dashed line is like the shadow of V onto the XY plane. And then I also like to dash this line up for height. I just think it gives us a better sense of, of depth and clarity. Okay, and that's it. There's really nothing more to graphing vectors in three dimensions. I don't think you'll, you'll be asked to do that very often. But... Vectors with two, uh, sorry, with three components behave exactly the same as vectors with three components. Everything we learned for vectors with two components applies to vectors with three components, including addition, subtraction, multiplying by a scalar, the translational property of vectors, so on and so forth. Okay, see you in the next video. Oh, one thing real quick. If you've never seen three-dimensional axes before, let me just explain that to you why they look the way they do. Um, it's as if our whole life when we've been looking at the XY plane, it's as if we've been looking straight down the Z axis. Oops, I was on a racer. Straight down the Z axis. So if we had an XY plane, here's X and Y. Z would be at the origin coming out straight at us. And because it's coming out straight at us, we really, we can't see it. If it were at even a slight angle, we would see it like this. This would be Z coming out at us. And that's exactly what we have here. We've just chosen to rotate things. So you could see that the X kind of swings down and Y swings down into its place and Z rotates up. So things are rotated, but it's really, uh, it's, it, it, it should seem familiar in that sense once you realize what's going on. Okay, anyways, I hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.